Good morning everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, so this is another Miami vlog. I hope you enjoyed the first one, <laughs> um, but we are continuing on because we have a ton of things to do. Today is Saturday, March 5th, and my girl Jen's birthday was on the 2nd, and so she came down to Miami yesterday, and we are hanging out today. She's having a pool day um, with cabanas and such, so that should be fun. We're doing that today. Um, I do have to go to an event at Brickle City Center. I'm checking out um, Kendra Scott and Kiari footwear brand um, collaboration. Kiari, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a black owned designer shoe brand with the spiral heels. I have been a huge fan of theirs for a while. And so the fact that they're having a, an event down here is great and they it personally invited me. So I definitely wanna show up, show out, show you guys what they have in store. And I have a party to go to tonight at Strawberry Moon, I believe. And my girl Rhea is coming to that party with me tonight. So it is a long day, it's gonna be jam packed. And of course, I'm gonna blog it all for you. Um, I just finished putting on a really quick, like natural day face. My hair is still going strong. It's been like this for about four or five days now. So I'm really happy with how it's doing. Let me show you guys the product that I've been using to get the best definition. And it's this Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Thank you to everyone who sent me all of your recommendations for helping with the humidity. This is incredible. Um, I don't saturate it. I just use maybe like one or two pumps, just get it a tiny bit wet and then uh, twist it on pretty much dry hair. Um, overnight and I take it out in the morning and it's great. It's holding up immaculately here in the Miami humidity. So if you are a natural gal like me, definitely try this out. I will link it down below. This is not sponsored, but I do love me some Shea Moisture. And they're always sending me products. And so I just went through my bag of products and found this and it's, it has been a godsend, really. My hair is flourishing. We're gonna get ready. I also want to pop by the Miami Design District and check out the Fendi store to see if they have any new bags in. My SA has been sending me things <laughs> and she's like, look, you need to jump on it because these bags are going to be gone in the next day or two. So we're going to pop over there as well. So a super jam packed day. Happy to be here. Still currently at the Esme a Miami South Beach Hotel is such a beautiful hotel. Like if you want the 411, make sure you check out the first vlog, but like it is stunning. They have a rooftop, they have a rooftop pool, a rooftop bar, stunning, so Instagram worthy. Um, the entrance to the hotel is very decadent, very dark. They have a fireplace. There's a lots of cool little walkways with string lights and beautiful little tables like you would find on Parisian corners. They have a bar with grab and go tapas. They have a sit down restaurant that's beautiful. I had a lovely breakfast there in the first Miami vlog. Just a really lovely place to stay. The rooms are a little small, but they're colorful, they're decadent. They give very much vintage vibes and I love it. And the prices are great too. So I will link this place down below and you can check it out. I actually check out tomorrow, so. All right, the lip is NARS Walkery. I'll link it down below. My favorite robe is from Soma Intimates. I'm wearing the small medium. If it's available, I'll link it below. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed for the day and we're gonna get a move on because it's gonna be serious. I'm a little tired. I can't even front, I'm tired. But we move because this is what we pray for. All right guys, let's do it. All right guys, so here is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this Alex NYC bodysuit. It's a little halter top. It's double lined here in the bust. I got it from Farfetch. And I do have a Farfetch code. It is 10 Monroe, all capital letters. And you actually get 15% off of your first order. There are some terms and conditions, which I'll put down in the, the description box. But yeah, the code used to be for 10%, but now it's 15. So special shout out to Farfetch. The pants are 
vintage. I thrifted them. They're kind of like a linen pant and I just cuffed them at the bottom. And then the shoes are Bottega Lido Mules in the beautiful orange paprika color. On my toes is Zoya Purity in white. And that's today's look. I'm gonna throw on an earring. I already put on my fragrance of the day, which is Baccarat Rouge 540. And today we're gonna go with this beauty, my Fendi Sequin Sunset Baguette that you would have seen in a previous Miami vlog. I got a ton of new bags in. This is new, you would have seen it in the previous video. Got this from my Teresa. I'll link it down below. But yeah, these are the bags I took it out, out of storage for the next few days. I almost for forgot to put on my secret weapon, which is this e.l.f. Um, Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Spray. I picked this up over at CVS. I wore it yesterday and my makeup was flawless all day. I only had to do a little touch up before I went to the Ball Harbor Shops event last night. So let's do this. So I kind of just get my face nice and moist. Then I let it dry. And it is fantastic, like fantastic. All right, I think I'm gonna pop by Fendi first, then head to Brickle, and then come back here, change, and head to the hotel for the party. I did get my girl Jen a gift, but you'll see that soon. Alrighty, let's go. It's not a game, it's a red stick.
All right guys, so I'm back from a pretty eventful afternoon. I first went over to the Miami Design District to head on over to Fendi. My essay wanted to show me some of the new bags that they got in. I was really thinking about getting the multicolored pink, kind of burgundy gold Fendi first, but then she showed me this other bag that's coming in probably next week. And I decided to get that one instead. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's stunning. So the Fendi that I go to is in the Miami Design District. I mean, they always get the good stuff. So if you're in the area, definitely check them out. All of the sales associates there are incredible and wonderful. Um, after that, I headed over to Brickell City Center to head into um, Kendra Scott and their collaboration with Kiari, which is a black owned footwear brand, designer footwear brand with the really cool spiral heels. I got to meet the designer and owner of the brand and she looked incredible. She had on these beautiful kind of like golden sandals with her signature heel. I didn't even know that she's actually based in the Miami area. So if you're looking for wonderful designer shoes and you want to support a black owned business, definitely check out Kiari. I also checked out a little bit of the Kendra Scott jewelry. They have some really cute like miniature crosses that I love and also these kind of bone in earrings that were really nice as well. I love Kendra Scott jewelry. I am on their PR list and they, they also send me things every now and then. So that was pretty much the day. I'm back in my room. I'm about to get ready. I'm gonna change into a swimsuit and a cover up, grab my girl's gift. I got her some Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume for her birthday. And then I also just bought a couple of bottles from the store as well. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and meet them at their hotel and just have a chill day until it's time to go to a party tonight. I think I need to do something else with my hair because it is very big and very wild. Anywho, if you're enjoying the video thus far, give your girl a thumbs up. I'm gonna change it to my swimsuit, my cover up, um, pack my Reeve Gauche bag full of drinks and this gift and we're gonna head out. All right, y'all, so here are the vibes wearing these and other story sunglasses. They're like Celine dupes. I'll link them down below. They come in a few different colors. Nasty Gal two-piece swimsuit. This scarf is from Desigual. I just bought it um, maybe like a week or two ago, but I'm using it as a sarong today. I love all of the colors. Today's shoes are Chanel Dad sandals. That is the look for this kind of like pool day. And I did end up just 
twisting these two little things in front so I feel like it contains the rest of my hair so yeah that's the look Hey y'all, sorry about the horrible lighting. I'm really, really trying to make the lighting in this hotel work. Anywho, today was really, really fun. I ended up heading over to Hotel Marseille where my girl Jen Jean-Pierre and her husband and friends are staying. Um, she came into town yesterday to celebrate her birthday. So they got a few cabanas at the hotel. The hotel is actually really cute and pretty affordable and on the beach. So if you're looking for a good affordable option with a really cool pool, um, cabana, outdoor area, definitely check out Marseille. It's on Collins. I went over and I met them. It's been years since I've seen my girl Jen, at least like since she's gotten married, it's been that long. So it was really good to see her and be able to celebrate her 40th birthday. She's one of my oldest friends. Definitely give her a follow over on Instagram at Jen Jean Pierre. She is a photographer, a content creator, a blogger. She also has a YouTube channel and she does a lot of fashion content, lifestyle content, family content with her husband and her daughter. Really, really, really good time seeing her. Her cake was so amazing. Oh my God. So I can't remember the name of who made her cake but she's located here in the Miami area I'll try and find her Instagram handle and put it in the, the description box but she made 
a cake that looks like a digital camera and a little iPhone. And the iPhone had Jen's Instagram on it, which was crazy. And the camera actually had a photo of her on the back, like loading. The attention to detail with this cake was incredible. And then when they finally cut it open, it was a caramel uh, and something cake. I can't remember, but it was so delicious and beautiful. I had a great time hanging out with Jen, hanging out with Chloe, Jen's sister hanging out with Elle, hanging out with Amber, and two new friends that I met. Like, we had a wonderful time just chilling by the pool, drinking, having fun. So I was there for a few hours, and then I came back here because I had to pack. I'm checking out of this hotel tomorrow. But before I check out, I'm meeting up with my girl Maria, Pella Rosa Blog, and we are shooting a few things before heading to Ball Harbor Shops to actually check out their new Fleur de Via exhibit, which is basically when I take a ton of flowers and they make clothes out of it. And the mannequins all represent like women in history who are incredible, like Oprah. <laughs> um, and it is Women's Month, so I think it'll be really cool. I just got myself ready. I'm actually wearing this two-piece orange set from Meshki. I'm wearing a medium. I love the color. Orange is so in. It's a two-piece set with a matching top and bottom. Super cute. I actually showed this in a previous New York vlog when I was like packing to come to Miami. And you could tie this top a ton of different ways too. So I'm wearing the medium and it fits wonderfully. But tonight I'm actually heading to the Good Time Hotel, which is a Dave Grutman hotel along with Pharrell, I believe. They have a partnership with that hotel and they are finally releasing their signature hotel scent and they're having a party for it. So they invited me. They have an area like outside by the pool. I believe it's like a restaurant called Strawberry Moon. And so I'm gonna meet my girl Rhea there and this is what I'm gonna wear. So I'll be sure to link this two piece set down below from Meshki um, and shout out to them for sending this to me. Like anytime I have some like events coming up, they always hook me up. They always look out for your girl. Sorry if you can hear the fan in here. This is one of those bathrooms that when you turn on the light, the fan automatically comes on. And I hate that, but there's nothing I can do about it. Refresh my makeup. Literally, I've been outside in the sun all day. And all I did was like blot a little and add a lip. I'm telling y'all, this setting spray is the truth. I was literally sitting in the sun for three hours and my makeup still looks great. So we're going to spray another refresher of this. And it smells amazing. And by the way, I probably shouldn't talk about that selling. I have the most sensitive skin and a lot of like makeup setting sprays and primers break me out. This has done nothing. It's amazing. Um, and then when I'm priming my face, I use the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is what I put on my face before I put on any makeup. And this is incredible. I'll link this down below. Clinique Moisture Surge. Uh, it's so good. It's such a great base when you're moisturizing your face before makeup. It's incredible. My lip again is NARS Mysterious Red. Velvet Matte Lip Pencil is my fave. Yeah, so I'm gonna pick a shoe, pick a scent. Um, I'm gonna call it Alto. And we are going to go ahead and head out because I thought it started at 9, but it actually starts at 8. <laughs> so I think I'll get there around 8.30 because if you've ever been to Miami, you know Miami time is always late. <laughs> if you get there on time, they might still be setting up. And my hair has been holding up pretty good too, although I think this is the last day that I'm going to be able to maximize it. I think in about a day or two I'm gonna wash it and probably just wear it in a puff I don't want to straighten it again so that is the look my flowers are holding up well from the rebag event if you didn't watch my latest vlog you have no idea what I'm talking about but I went to a rebag event at Brickle City Center yesterday and we all got to take home a lovely bouquet and I have it here and some water it's doing well that is the look 
I'm gonna choose a shoe, a bag, a scent, and we're off. So tonight we're going with my fave Gentle Fluidity Gold and Lilabo Te Noir Mix for tonight's fragrance. For the earrings, I've decided to go with these. Darn, I can't remember who I got these from, but it's a really cool brand. I'll try and find them and link them down below. They're made out of raffia, but they're super, super cool. I'm pretty sure I got them from my Teresa. But I love earrings like this. If I can find my whole yeah they're really fun and like festive and very like conversation starters and i believe i'm going to be meeting a lot of new people today i'm really trying to step it up with the pr here in miami um to make sure you know i'm meeting people and setting myself up for um success when it comes to pr those are cute for the shoes i'm going with these bottega lido mules they're kind of like a a beige color to kind of match the earrings and then my bag i think i'm going to carry my sparkly fendi bag because i know people are going to love that and that can be like a good conversation starter i mean a lot of just being a content creator or someone in the public eye is just meeting people and speaking to people and I actually used to be quite shy but I used to force myself to go to events and speak to people and I've done it so much I've just gotten used to it but a lot of it is just a, about conversation starters so if you wear something that you know will start a conversation um, where you can find common ground with someone that's definitely a plus so keep that in mind when you're going to events and you're meeting people not just you know if you're a content creator but just in life you know a little pro tip love these elevators I'm gonna try and shoot some content in here tomorrow but the leather uh, green leather walls amazing
good morning guys so i wanted to come on and give you guys a little recap of last night i ended up going to the good time hotel which is dave grotman's hotel this was the first time i actually went for an event last night where they released their new um hotel scent in collaboration with the brand sniff you guys it smells amazing but the hotel it's so beautiful like i loved it especially the outdoor space kind of overlooking everything um they have a really nice pool i believe they actually have two pools tons of seating areas there was a live dj there and he was killing it too um everyone came dressed to the nines looking incredible i saw one of my good friends there uh liz she was there i just had a, a wonderful time drinking sitting chatting taking photos um dave grutman was there i did want to meet him but uh i didn't want to intrude and he was deep in conversation but he was there and he kind of mingled with everyone as well let me show you guys the fragrance because they had a few little samples that we could take um the fragrance is called strawberry moon um oh wait strawberry moon time sniff is th did they actually name it strawberry moon anywho it has jasmine leather bergamot pink pepper iris saffron vetiver which i love and amber woods and it smells incredible i think that's such a smart ploy to actually create your very own scent for your establishments and then sell that scent because a lot of people just go with scents that are already created like especially in new york a lot of hotels have signature scents in partnership with like byredo or la labo santal 33 but that is smart marketing to create your own and then actually sell it, sell it because one of the first things i notice about a new place that i visit is how it smells you know it's very very important especially to us tourists we are scent oriented people anywho today is sunday it is bright and early it's about 9 30. my girl maria just got here and we're gonna just shoot a few things that i've been wearing throughout the previous miami vlog and this vlog as well just so i can have some content i've kind of been slacking a little on my instagram and i need to step it back up make sure i'm posting every day you know at least a photo and a reel um, I really am trying to grow this year. I want to get to 200,000 followers on Instagram. So yeah, if you're not following me, definitely check me out at Monroe Steel. Also, if you get a chance, check out Sniff, S-N-I-F, Time Strawberry Moon, because this smells so good. Like, oh, uh, it's amazing. So I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes while we do a little shooting. We're going to shoot a little bit on Española Way. Um, we're going to shoot a little bit around the Esme Hotel, so you'll get a little feel for it. I'm starting with this Rat and Boa dress that I wore on like night one um, in my previous Miami vlog. Oh, this smells so good. When my girl Rhea and my girl Ajing and I, we had a lovely dinner here at the Drexel and then we went out for drinks and such. Make sure you're watching all the vlogs so you're not missing the fashions. The lip is NARS Mysterious Red. I'm gonna throw on an earring, get a bag, and we're gonna go ahead and get started shooting. So let's go. And then we're heading to Bile Harbor Shops for a little event. So it's gonna be a really fun day. It's Maria. <laughs> Photographer extraordinaire. Look one, one and done.
guys, so we are done shooting for the day. Um, I shot four looks. The first look was a rat and boa dress that I wore on a night out here. I love that dress. I paired it with Gianvi Torasi sandals and my Balenciaga hourglass uh, tote and small and my Chanel earrings. And we kind of shot that around the hotel elevators because they're padded with leather and just really nice for like a going out look. The second look we shot was my Fina Well silk like watercolor dress. I absolutely love that dress. I wore it to an event at Ball Harbor Shops to celebrate their um, Fleur de Via exhibit, which we will be checking out more in depth soon um, later on in this vlog. And for the shoes, I believe I went with my Tom Ford padlock sandals in white and uh, my brand new Fendi First gold bag that you all love so much and my uh, Carolina Herrera ball earrings for that look. When I wore that dress the other night to the party, I got so many compliments. Fina Well is a black business. I love her pieces. She is incredible. And that dress I'm wearing a medium, so I'll link that down below. The third look we shot was the two-piece Meshki orange knit set that they sent to me. I actually wore that last night to the event at the Good Time Hotel, a Strawberry Moon, them releasing their brand new uh, scent or fragrance in collaboration with Sniff. And I got so many compliments on that look. I definitely wanted to shoot it. For the shoes, I went with my Tibby Mules. For the bag, I went with my brand new sequin Fendi Baguette bag. It is so beautiful. Like I've been wearing this bag so much. I love it. It's definitely a conversation starter. Um, and then the earrings are, I cannot remember the brand but I'll link it down below because I know a lot of you love these raffia earrings. And then the sunglasses are Alexander McQueen. I bought those during New York Fashion Week. Hope you watch those vlogs. I'll link all of those things down below. And then finally, we shot a swimsuit look. I've had this swimsuit for a long time. It is from, oh, why can't I think of the brand? I'll put it I'll put it down in the description box. Sorry guys, I'm just blanking on brands. But I've had it for about two years, but they still make this, shape of swimsuit just in other colors. So I'll link it down below if I can find it. I wore it with my Bottega Lido Mules in the paprika color. The sunglasses were from Versace and the earrings are from Andrea Iyama, which is a black owned business. So yeah, those were the four looks that I shot today. It only took us about an hour and a half to shoot all of the, all of those things because this one is a genius. She must be on TikTok. Maria is incredible. What we're gonna do now, I need to check out in about an hour and then in about two hours, we have a media lunch at Makoto and Bar Harbor Shops and then a campaign with a shoe brand. Um, and so I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes. I put back on the same outfit that I wore yesterday to go to Brickle City Center to check out the Chiari and Kendra Scott collaboration. I didn't get a chance to shoot this, so I'm actually gonna wear this to Ball Harbor and shoot this there. This top is from Alex NYC. I'm wearing a medium, it's a bodysuit. I got it from Farfetch. I do have a code, it is 10 Monroe, all capital letters, and it actually gets you 15% off of your first order, not 10, so just wanted to update you guys on that. I need to pack because I need to check out. We're gonna grab some food. Um, and then we're gonna head to Ball Harbor. So we're a little hungry. So we're gonna head to the restaurant downstairs for a quick bite before we go eat again. <laughs> Even though we need to save some slots for- We do, Oklahoma. we need to save some. I'm just gonna get a tiny snack and a coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna get coffee. All right, y'all, so we made it to Ball Harbor. We're here to check out the Fleur de Via exhibit. Um, there are notable women in history and they are all clothed in beautiful outfits made out of flowers. Um, so I'm gonna take you around. We're gonna check them out. If you're around, I think it's gonna be going on until March 14th, um, but it's really cool. I did go to the opening party the other night, but I wanted to come and show you guys a little more in depth. So let's go.
guys. So I am back in a new place. Um, I had to check out of Esme um, because I think they're filming a movie or something. Today was really fun, sorry about the echo. I ended up heading up to Ball Harbor Shops after my shoot with Maria to check out the Fleur de Via exhibition of all of the amazing women who have these stunning dresses made out of flowers. I love that Ball Harbor always does this. It's really, really cool. I checked out a ton. There was Oprah, of course. I mean, so many notable women. There was Joan. I mean, look, I hope you all had a chance to go and see it for yourself. But if not, don't worry. I had an amazing time and it's all here for you to see. Ball Harbor always has some kind of art or some kind of installation going on. So it's definitely worth a visit when you're visiting Miami. Of course, we had a lovely media dinner as well at Makoto, which is one of my favorite restaurants in Miami Beach. My girl Rhea joined us, Elle, of course, uh, Maria. And we, y'all, we went off <laughs> with what we ordered. I think we got crispy rice, we got salmon crispy rice, I think we got hibachi crispy rice, we got some rock shrimp, we got two different kinds of rolls, spicy tuna, and then salmon avocado. What else? We got a ton of stuff and everything was so good. I ended up getting the lamb. I was not even able to finish it. Got the lamb, it was delicious. I think Rhea had the Branzino, Elle had the sea bass and Maria, she got like the little meat that you can cook on a rock, which was cool. Um, and then I had a leche and martini, it was so, so good. So then after eating, also special thanks to Makoto for that brunch, that was a media uh, brunch. So that was awesome, I always love shouting them out. They're incredible, definitely a wonderful place to eat after you have shopped up a storm at Ball Harbor Shops. And then after that, I went over to Alexander Beardman, Alexandra Beardman, um, to check out some of their shoes. I was able to do a collaboration with them. It's probably already gone live on my social media, but maybe there's a picture on my Instagram. If so, head on over there and give your girl three pink because this is kind of is this pink or yellow give a girl three yellow hearts if you don't know how to do that just drop me three red hearts on my alexander beerman photo um they had a beautiful floral display outside of the store again to celebrate um fleur de via that's happening at ball harbor but i did a nice collab with them and i was able to take a pair of shoes so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what shoes i got and then i'm closing out this vlog and starting a brand new one all right guys, so I went to Alexandra Beerman, checked out the shoes. They have some amazing shoes. Every shoe that I've tried on, I absolutely love. I am normally a US size like 10. Normally in European like made shoes, I get a 41. Their shoes do run small, so I had to get a 42. Keep that in mind. I'm going to link all of the like shoes that I'm loving from them right now and a few that you saw me try on as well. But I tried on about five pairs of shoes and these were the ones that tickled my fancy the most. The packaging is lovely. Love this kind of like pale pink and gray wording. Of course, comes with a dust bag. Really beautiful tissue paper there. And I want you guys to guess which ones I picked. Well, maybe you already know if you follow me on social media, but are these beautiful? So they are like, kind of like an orangey and then they have a fuchsia. Ugh, with these three bands, they zip up the back. They are absolutely stunning. They look so good with the pants that I have on. These are just so great for spring and summer. Uh, so I got these in a 42. Again, I normally get a 41. They would have been too small. These shoes do run about a whole size small, but they have a zipper up the back. I will be sure to link these down below. Uh, the camera is not doing them justice. They are beautiful. And I also love that like the colors in these, in this shoe kind of matches the color in my Fendi baguette. Uh, 
they are stunning i love them maybe i'll try them on for you guys in the next vlog but alexandra beerman has some really amazing footwear i have linked all of my favorites down below in the description box including these and you can check them out all right guys so i am beat and i just got to this new place and i'm loving it hopefully i won't be here too long because i am scheduled to close on my house very very soon if you enjoyed this vlog please do give your girl a thumbs up i would love to get at least 4,000 likes on this video it helps to push my videos out to more people and that's really a great thing for me and i would love for you to subscribe and join the family i would love to have you uh, we have a lot of fun over here and definitely click the notification bell so anytime i post a new video you will be notified yes you again everything you've seen in today's video every place i went every place i ate all of my friends everybody's tagged and linked down below i will see you all in the next one thank you so much for spending this time with me and let me go ahead and end this one so we can start another one because it's vlog life over here all right guys bye